another vlog. Today I'm trying to show you all the equipment I've got to try and take with me when we go over to America. Um, excuse me, the blood's probably rushing to my head because I'm upside down. It's okay everyone, as you can see, all this equipment that we've got here on the table is all the stuff that I'm going to be trying to take with me. So I've obviously got the laptop, um, the drone, got my GoPro, got this other GoPro, got a dash cam, and I'm just going to quickly run through everything. As you can see, I've got to try and fit all of this into what's one bag. I've got to get, try and get all this into this one bag so I can get it on board the aircraft because I've got, I've I've, ideally I'd like to take most of this as my carry-on. I don't want to leave, for example, you don't want to put, you don't want to leave that into your hold luggage, you don't want to leave the laptop in your hold luggage, you don't want to leave your GoPro in your hold luggage. So I'm going to try and see what I can fit into this bag today. I'm just going to quickly run through what I've got. Right, Kenan, so very quickly, I've got a dolly with an extendable handle, I've got another extendable handle, sunshade, tripod, three battery bags, three batteries to the remote, Mavic itself. The batteries, I've got a terminal protector for each battery. I've got my laptop, my charger for my laptop, I've got an SD card reader, flash, spare battery and charger, and zoom lens, 10 to 20 mil lens, my Nikon D5200, got a microphone, a small little tripod, an LED flashlight, microfiber cloth, I've got a notepad, because the plan is I'm going to be storybooking most of the most of the journey, so the idea is that I'll, I'll before we go away, I'll have it all set out on scene so I know what I'm going to be recording. But also on the front page as well, I've got all the settings here for my Mavic. That's all the little settings that I use for my Mavic. Two mobile phones, joystick controller. I've got spare propellers, ND filters. So that's the case with ND filters. There's already one on the GoPro, so there should be five in there. I've then got my gimbal protectors. The look through one, an ND16 one, and a clear one. You've got the gimbal clamp. The protector, two USB leads, charger, battery, case, road lav mic, a dash cam, three quarters of a terabyte, just in SD cards over here. My charger, which is going to be ch for charging my GoPro. This is just a very crude egg timer from Ikea. If you look at any of the time lapses that they're rotating on, on my channel, that's what they've been recorded on. Got the gimbal for the GoPro, got a windscreen mount for the GoPro. I've got a smaller windscreen mount, which I'll be using for the Hero 2. Car charger for the, for the Mavic, got the mains charger for the Mavic, additional USB Charger for the Mavic, a smart four-way, a USB-C style extension lead, remote control lanyard, 1.5mm hex ball screwdriver. This will fit 90% of the screws on the Mavic, so you can go around, so you've got these little screws here. This will fit most of the screws on the Mavic, so you can go around and check that they're all tight before you fly. Now, the only downside is I've got to try and fit all of this, like I said before, into that rucksack, and I've got to then decide what I can't fit in, what's not going to be important to get in the bag, and the other bits and pieces are going to have to go in the suitcase. So for example, things like the dolly, the tripods, um, they can all go into the suitcase. Um, but things like the Mavic, for example, you don't want to put into the suitcase because the last thing it would do is damage it all. So with that, I'm going to try and see what I can squeeze into the bag now and I'll come back to you. So good news, it all appears to be fitting. So quite happy with that. And um, yeah, I'll have to now go through it on the scales and see how heavy it is. Because I think it might be a tad over 15 kilos. But we'll see, like I said, I've managed to get everything in it that's important, so happy days. Well, I didn't think that was gonna fit, to be honest. Um, like I said, there's still quite a few bits that are left over that are gonna have to go into the suitcase. So yes, whilst in itself, it looked like I got a lot into the bag, there is still quite a few other bits and pieces that aren't fitting into the bag. So yeah, apart from that, I'm quite happy with what I've managed to squeeze into the bag. And um, right, I'm going to end the vlog there. Anyway, thanks very much guys. Cheers for coming back again and watching another one. Um, I know this one's been a bit boring really, but there is some other ones, some more exciting ones coming up in the near future. So I'd really appreciate it if you could come back in the future and Check out my other videos, like and subscribe please to my channel and this video. And I'll look forward to seeing you all in the future. All right, thanks very much, cheers.